Hello, my name is Simon. Today I'll be showing you the very basics on how to play guitar. We'll start with how to hold the instrument. So this is a right-handed guitar, and most players out there are going to be right-handed. But if you're left-handed, just take everything I say and reverse it, because it's all going to be the same, just in opposite order. So if you're right-handed, your left hand will be the one doing the fretting, and then your right hand will be doing the strumming or the picking. Now this guitar has six strings, as most guitars do. The thickest string will be the one facing up, and the thinnest string will be the one facing down. And each string is tuned, so the next one is higher. And I recommend that beginners use a clip-on tuner that looks like this, because it's a lot easier than doing it by ear, and you may frustrate yourself. You just clip it onto the headstock here, and then you'll just pluck each individual note, and it'll tell you where it is and then you can tune up or down accordingly. Now each of the strings is tuned as such, starting from the thickest string up here. E, A, D, G, B, and E. And I'll be referring to the strings by their note names as opposed to the number because it could get confusing when I throw in fret numbers as well. So be sure to memorize each of the notes that the string corresponds to, and it'll be a lot easier to tune later down the line. So I'll give you the notes one more time. E. A. D. G. B. And E. And I recommend the beginners start by using a pick rather than going for their fingers because you'll be using a pick for most uses on the guitar. And although a lot of players may want to use their fingers because you do get a particular sound that way, the pick is actually much harder to learn to use. So it's a lot better to start with it so you get that out of the way and then you can learn to finger pick later down the line. And when holding the guitar, you want to make sure everything's relaxed, your back is straight, and your wrists are straight. That's on both the strumming hand and the front hand. You can move your left hand so your elbow's more toward your body, so that way your wrist is much straighter and you avoid carpal tunnel. And then when strumming with your right hand, make sure everything's loose, you don't hold the pick too tight, and you just move your arm up and down like this. Okay, let me also show you how to hold the pick. So they should look like this. The pointed end is going to be the one doing the picking. So you can hold it between your thumb and index finger so that the point is perpendicular to the knuckle. Okay, so I zoomed in a little closer so you can take a look at what my left hand is doing here. I'm going to show you some chords and how to properly fret the instrument. And then I'll even teach you a song today. So when fretting your guitar, you want to, like I said, make sure your left hand is straight and relax. You'll make a C shape like this. You'll take your thumb and you'll barely peek it over the top here. And then you'll just move your fingers over like so. And when fretting the instrument, you'll want to use just the very tips of your fingers, because if you use the fleshy part, you may mute the other strings. So I'll first start by showing you a G chord. When fretting the guitar, you want to make sure your finger is just barely behind the fret that you're targeting. You don't want to go right on top of it because that could be the string. You want it just behind. So to do a G chord, you'll take your middle finger and you'll put it on the third fret on the E string. Your index finger on the second fret of the A string your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and your pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. And when first learning a chord, it's always good to pick each individual note to make sure they all ring out. show you a D chord. 
you'll take your index finger and you'll put it on the second fret of the string. You'll take your ring finger, put it at the third fret of the B string, and your middle finger at the second fret of the E string. And for this chord, you're only going to strum the top four strings. And just as a little note, on a six string guitar, the top strings are actually the ones that are going to be at the physical bottom, whereas the bottom strings will physically be at the top of the guitar. The reason for that is because the top strings make a higher pitch than the bottom strings. So instead of going for physical location, it's musical location. So the top strings will be the thin strings. So for the D chord, you just want to strum the top four. Okay, now just practice with those two chords that I've shown you. Just try to move back and forth between them and strum just down. It's okay if you can't get the chords perfect on the first try. And you may need to take extra time between moving the chords, moving between the chords, to make sure that it's all accurate. Your hand is not used to doing these types of movements, so it's not going to be easy at first, but once you're used to making the shapes, you should be able to move between them. Okay. The next chord I'm going to show you is the A chord. <clears throat> and that involves the index finger at the second fret of the D string, the middle finger at the second fret of the G string, and the ring finger at the second fret of the B string. Everything's going to be at the second fret. And you'll strum just the top five strings. You may notice the hand gets a little crowded because all the fingers are at the same fret. So be sure everything's relaxed and don't tense up too much. Okay, once again, take it very slowly. And you just try moving between each corner. Okay, now I'm going to teach you a song that uses just these three chords. We're going to learn Free Falling by Tom Petty. So all you're going to do is move between the chords, just doing down strokes. And I'll give you the order of the chords. You'll be going from D to G to D to A. Okay, and then I'll zoom out for you so you can see what I'm doing. Once again, I'll give you the order of the chords just so you have it in memory. D, G, G, D, A. D, G, G, D, A. And then in the next video, I'll show you some more strumming techniques and how to strum a guitar. But once you're used to doing downstrokes, eventually you can do the full strumming pattern.